Hi everyone, today we are talking about flow and in particular the elements tab. And in the elements tab, this is where we store all of our information around interactions, logic, and data subcategories. Now, each of these have their own kind of sub topics or subcategories as well. So we're going to take a look at them one by one. So the first one in our elements tab is our interaction elements. And these include screen, action, or subflow. The screen element is only available in a screen flow, and it allows us to present a screen to the user. This screen can display information from the data that your flow is working on, or it can be used to collect information from the user. For example, you might have a file upload component, which can relate uploaded files to records automatically by specifying the related record ID. Then our next sort of interaction element that we have is the action element. And this allows us to pass data through to a pre-existing standard or custom action, such as send element, a quick create, or a custom Apex action. So we have the screen element, we have the action element for passing data to an existing action. Or we have the third one, which is a subflow element. And a subflow element allows us to call another flow from within your current flow. So this means that if you have quite a complex flow setup, uh, then you don't need to replicate the logic in your new flow from scratch. You can actually just call the existing flow straight from your current flow. This makes maintenance way easier as you only need to update the logic once in that one flow that you use and then just reference it correctly in your other ones. So those are our interaction elements in our elements tab. Our next type of element that we have is logic elements. And our logic elements are grouped into decisions, assignments, and loops plus a few extras which we'll talk about. But the main ones are decisions, which allow us to split our flow depending on the data that's being sent through it. So the decision is really kind of that junction or intersection um, where you decide which branch you want the flow to go down depending on different data or values. Our next logic element is assignments. An assignment allow us to assign a value to a variable. Our third logic element is loops, and loops allow us to handle multiple variables at once using collections. So you'll just loop over a collection until you've gone through every piece of data or record in that collection. And we have a couple of extras here, which I just want to mention. The first one is collection sort, which just sorts our item in a collection. This might be by date, this may be by uh, record ID, it might be alphabetically. And then we have a pause element, and the pause element just pauses the flow entirely. So those are some of the logic elements that we have. We've talked about interaction elements, we've talked about logic elements, and our third type of element is the data element. The data elements are fairly easy, they're nice and simple. They're things like create, update, get, or delete. So anytime you really want to edit a record in Salesforce, we'd be using a data element. Now remember, elements are the building blocks of a flow. They're literally the blocks that you would be clicking and dragging around. So they're really quite <laughs> a large part of flow, um, and it makes sense that there are so many and that they can get quite detailed and specific. But as an overview, we have those three different groups of elements. We have interaction elements, we have logic elements, and we have data elements. And between those three, it's amazing what you can do and create and flow. I hope that that was useful for you all. If you want to check out our video on the Managers tab, then make sure that you have a look. Um, otherwise, I will see you here next time.